This is using IDF Editor Part 2. When IDF Editor saves a file, it creates a text file and writes the objects in a standard format. First the object class name, then the field values separated by commas, ending with a semicolon. Each field is documented with an endline comment that indicates the field name and any units if applicable. These endline comments are indicated by an exclamation point and a dash and are considered automatic comments. They will be overwritten by the software, so the user should not edit these or the information may be lost. If the user wishes to attach comments to an object, they should be inserted as full line comments using an exclamation point to start the line immediately above the object to which they are attached. These will be displayed in IDF Editor and will be preserved as IDF Editor reads and writes the file. IDF Editor has some convenient features for transferring data between different applications and IDF Editor. For example, from a text file, one can select an Energy Plus object or collection of different objects, copy them to the clipboard, go to IDF Editor, and paste them into the IDF file that's currently being edited. In the other direction, it's possible to select a group of objects, go to the Edit menu, Copy for Spreadsheet, go to a spreadsheet program, and paste. The group of objects is now pasted into the spreadsheet with the field names and the corresponding values for each object. Also under the Edit menu is a Find command. In IDF Editor, this searches the class names. So for example, if you were searching for the, uh, a class containing the word fan, we can type fan into the Find box, and it will go to the first class containing fan. Control G can be used to find next, and find all objects that contain the word fan. The View menu offers the option to view and edit values in inch-pound units. The units will change and the values are edited, or in SI units. Note that Energy Plus always writes the IDF file in SI, and that's what the Energy Plus simulation expects to find, our SI units. The View menu also offers options for different column widths, for word wrap of text within the fields, and a useful object called Show Classes with Objects Only, which has a shortcut of Control-L. When this is selected, all of the empty class names are hidden, and only classes which are populated with one or more objects will be displayed. Note that the number indicates how many of each type of object are present in the current input file. This is useful for working with a file that is already exi has existing data in it, provides a way to see a quick overview of what kinds of objects are present in the file, and to move quickly to objects to edit. Of course, if you wish to add a new object in a class type that's not displayed, you will need to use Control-L or the menu option to display all of the class names again in order to access the new object type. Another option for navigating the class list is View, Show Quick Select Dropdowns. This adds two dropdown lists above the class list. The first is a list of major groups, for example, air distribution. When that is selected, the second dropdown then lists all of the air distribution objects that are available within that group. Once you learn the groups, then it provides a way to navigate quickly to the objects within that group. The View menu also offers some layout options and an option to check all objects for out-of-range condition. The Help menu provides direct access to Energy Plus documentation. This concludes the overview of IDF Editor. For more details, please consult the Energy Plus Auxiliary Programs document.